Okay, so today we're doing a density experiment. We'll be testing or finding the density of a diamond of wash. Okay, so here's your lab. You need 10 dimes, 10 washers, uh, weights, a scale, a balance scale if you have one. Um, if you don't, you can use an electric scale. We have a graduated cylinder and um, some water in a beaker. It'll be easier to pour into. Um, okay, so you might be wondering why we have 10 instead of just one. The reason is because if you look at the graduated cylinder, it's not very like accurate. So you can't see very small movements. If you just dropped one diamond there, the water wouldn't move up very much. So instead, you would um, we're using 10, and don't worry, the we don't uh, the ratio will still be the same. Okay, so let's start. For the scale, we'll take 10 dimes, and let's start with a 10, 10 dimes. So, let's move this. It doesn't seem to be moving at all, and as you move it to 10, it hasn't done much. So, we need a larger weight, a heavier one. Let's try 20 grams this time. Oops. Ooh, it's starting to balance out. You would check the top to see if this line is aligned with that red. This line is aligned with this red line on the scale. Let's keep moving it. Okay, so we're pretty much aligned right now. Maybe a little more. And the weight of the 10 dimes would... Um, Probably be, if you check here, it's around 2.8 kilo, or sorry, 2.8 grams, and that would be the weight of the 10 dimes, or the mass of the 10 dimes. Okay, now that we've found the mass on the board, here's a chart um, laying out the mass, which is for the dimes we just found, to 22.8. Okay, so let's take the 10 dimes off, and let's place the washers on. 10 washers. So, you... Okay, we're gonna start doing this again. Oh, but once again, it seems that this weight is too light. Let's just add 10. 10 grams, yes, that seems to have done the trick. So, let's move this back. Okay, so this line is about aligned with the red line. So, you check here, that's about 30.6 grams. You can see that. You're looking at the line at the end. So 30.6 grams. Now, you don't need the scale anymore. Now we can take a look at the graduated cylinder. First thing you do is put Enough water into the cylinder to cover that to um, be able to cover up these ten dimes or the ten washers. Let's see. Okay, so right now you would take this, lift it up, and hold it lightly so that the gravity can pull this downward so it's as straight as possible. You can twirl it around a bit too to get the air bubbles out of the water. 
So that is about That is about exactly 18 point zero um, milliliters. So our initial um, volume in milliliters would be 18.0 milliliters. Um, the I stands for initial, the F stands for final, because to find the volume in the end, you're gonna need to subtract the initial volume from the final volume. Okay, now take the dimes and you can slide them slowly into the water so that it doesn't make a huge splash. Contour it a little once again to get the air bubbles out. And you would look at the curve under, like the lowest point of the curve. So this is at 20.5. So, on here, I would write 20.5 milliliters. Okay, now all you need to do is subtract 20.5 minus 18 to get the volume. That's easy. 2.5. So... Right now, we are about, um, bring it to eye level. Right now, the curve is at 20 point, 20.9. So, initial volume, 20.9. Once again, just slide these in one by one so you don't make a big splash. Swirl it around, get the air bubbles out. it up again, bring it to eye level. That is at 24.7. So, 24.7 milliliters. Sorry, my handwriting is a bit bad. Now, from here, you can find the volume, 24.7 minus 20.9. For density, density equals, um, or rho equals mass divided by volume. So to find the density of the dime, it would be the mass divided by the volume, which is 22.8 divided by 2.5. You would get uh, the answer 9.12, uh, but because um, you need significant figures, this only has two significant figures which is the smallest. So you would go, you would put 9.1 grams per milliliter. Um, okay, so for the next one, which are the washers, you would do 30.6 grams divided by 3.8 milligrams, or milligrams, milliliters. You would get 8.2 zero five two um but once again only two significant figures so eight point eight point one grams per milliliter
Okay, so for dimes, you probably already know the metal, which is nickel. And this, uh, nickel's uh, density is 8.9 grams per milliliter. Um, for the washers, the metal is iron. And that, um, that's density is 7.874 grams per milliliter. So now, there's a difference between these. And right now, we'll find the error of our experiment. So, for error, you would subtract the answer that you got minus the um, answer, what the answer really is. So, for the dimes, it would be 9.1 minus 8.9 divided by 9, uh, 8.9 equals... Zero point zero two two. So your percentage error would be twenty point two percent. That's your percentage error. For the washers, you would do the same thing. Um, so the density you got eight point one minus their density seven. 0.874 divided by 7.874. 7, and from that you would get 0 0.029, which is 2.9%. So your percentage error for the washers is 2.9%.